What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope this comes out all right, maybe even better for stabilization. I'm using my iPhone because my camera's dead and um, I, it takes forever to charge if I charge my unit. So we're not gonna charge it. Basically today, E36 Mods Day Boy. As you probably tell by the title and thumbnail of the video, me and Jack have been installing over fenders and potentially the wing if we have time today. Um, but the fronts, as you can see, they're already out and we're sort of mocking it up. The reason why I'm doing this is the bodywork on this is a bit of a rusty shed. Like, if I show you the rear, it's not very nice. And ever since, I could go through the effort or the long effort and all the money spent on restoring it, whatever. But it's not worth it. And to be fair, I think the overfenders look pretty sick on these, especially on the rear and whatnot. So it just makes sense to cut out all the rust, seal it up. And then we can rift night on. And ever since doing it on the Fiesta, like two years ago, me and Jack done it. It's sort of like, I prefer like wide arched or wide body cars. I get, this is over fenders, but it's basically a wide arch kit at the end of the day. Um, Cause they don't actually do any really nice body kits, I'd say for the E36 that I personally like. You can get the ones with all the side skirts and stuff like that, but I don't like that. I like the stock body with a bit of extra pizzazz to it so i just want to briefly pause the video to say a huge thank you to ag1 by athletic greens so what this is is a nutritional drink and what it is is every morning the past few weeks i've been waking up i get a scoop of my ag1 i put it in i mix it with some water one scoop one minute once a day real quick easy stuff just to get into your routine and it's just like a health and wellness sort of drink so it makes you feel a lot better the main thing i like about ag1 it combines nine health products into one so like i said it's one scoop one minute one today nine good things all in one so you haven't got to pick up other things throughout the day you can just have it get it done and go on with your morning routine so i like to make one in the morning for when i get in the car so i can drink it on my way into work it gives you more of a constant healthy habit and it's better for your immune support as well and it's very lifestyle healthy so if you're vegan gluten free anything like that you can still have this drink and it's still fine to drink so anyone and everyone can really sort of have it and if you click my link down below you get a year supporting your d3k2 and five travel packs free with your purchase and you can't put a price on your health so yeah if you want to check out ag1 i'll leave it linked down below they come in these really nice containers metal caps you also get a metal spoon a metal jar to hold all of your athletic greens ag1 in so it's a really nice comprehensive set and i can't thank them anymore more for supporting me and this video so let's get back to the video so i don't have any um actually i've quite conveniently like this is like cutting tape for wrap and i forgot i had this laying around so we've marked how we're gonna cut so we're just cutting all this damage and rust bit here out and we're sort of following the line of the body here going up over it gets a bit skewed with here but just going for like a clean line from that point a to point b pretty much we've mocked up with the o fender as well and it'll give us enough room obviously we can cut more if we need to but we're not going to need to for what i'm using it for one day, if I change my mind, we're riffing out anyway. So all you got to do is unbolt it, cut more. It's not hard. Like, it's pretty simple. And then we need you just cut it, grind it down a bit, paint it black probably over where we've cut to stop any rust from coming afterwards. And it should be all good. But we're going to do the fronts first, then worry about the rears. Also, I had to pop the indicator out, but I'm not sure if I'm going to fit that back into the front over fenders or not. I'll work it out. Um... Yeah, not really too fast. I don't want to cut them up, to be honest. If I have to, I will, but if I'm going with not, I won't. We're just going to get some more cutting discs, because I only had one. But, Jack's done the first cut. It looked very good. Um, we need to grind it back, obviously, make everything all nice. Then we can just paint it up. But, 
that's what the first one looks like. It's nothing crazy because we don't need anything crazy, like I said. But it's it's cut. I just want to put the overfenders on it. And also the brake lines detach and the calipers because all the bleed nipples were seized. So I've got new calipers all around. All the rears are used, but I couldn't find any new ones for what I needed. Um, but Jack's put all new bleed nipples and shit in them. So they're as good as new, I guess you'd say. And had a nice little respray. So I'm going to see how cold it is. Uh, we're going to grind this back and then mock up fitting a new one. And we need to go get a rivet. Not a, not a rivet gun, a riv nut tool. So we've got a Sealy riv nut tool as well. So we can actually riv nut it on. Because I didn't have one. I thought we had one, but we didn't. I know I just put the flash on, but it looks cool. Um, I sent the set of calipers I got to Jack, just to be easier. And he said if he wanted to paint, if I wanted them painted, they'd do it whilst it's there. So... I've sent some paint. I've not seen these in person until just now. These look sick. These are going to look so sick on the car. Um, obviously, it doesn't go with that colour, but the car is getting wrapped after this. I've got two wrap samples. I need to pick what one I want to go ahead with. So I'll probably bring them down to unit next time I'm here. I've been a brief today, but I forgot. Okay, guys. So quick update. We've got our drill bits. We've got a drill each. One's for piloting, one's for drilling the hole out. And then we've got our M5 rift nuts in. I went and bought this tool. It's not sponsored, unfortunately. I had to pay full price. But it is good. It was like 40 quid, weren't it? Yeah, 40 pound. 40 pound. Working lovely. Wish it was free, but it wasn't. But yeah, um, now I'm going to rift nut. If you haven't ever rift nutted anything and you like have contemplated it, I highly recommend it because it makes everything look 10 times better after fitting. And they're just so cool. I just love the concept of it. It's 10 times better than riveting. Obviously, if you need to do something quick, rivet in. If you can't, if you've got the time, I'd always say rivet nut. It looks better. It's just easier. If you haven't to take it back off, unbolted, done. actually fitting all the rev nuts into this and then looked at the because i'm using my phone saw it had storage full from fucking whatsapp messages from years ago just excellent but um we just put the overfender on just to mock it up we'll say mock it up we're fitting it now um we'll just put a nut a bolt in the top bolt on top there now we're going to put all the bolts and heels we've pre-drilled them all we've riv it all it looks really good um so yeah now we're just going to actually bolt it on and see what it's going to look like So hopefully this is working now because I've been trying to delete stuff off my phone about the past half hour. And I thought it was filming me fitting the rib nuts, putting the fenders on. I think I've got like 10 seconds of each clip because it kept ending itself and it probably has done it by now and I don't even know. But I'll show you what we've done and it looks really cool. So we've got the front passenger side over fender on. It looks really nice. It feels, it didn't look like it was going to be much more aggressive than the stock, but I feel like it is a lot more bulging and aggressive it looks really cool and uh yeah i'm really happy with how they fitted they went on really nice and easy it looks really good i'm very happy and we're now rust proof fiberglass boy just keep getting scared i'm gonna crack them when you go to tighten it so i've got to be really careful when you're nipping them up but now i'm gonna cut this side as you can see we've marked up our line just gonna cut that out just grind it down a little bit then we'll drill out our rivet nuts. It's actually what we did that side. We're going to mirror on this side now. And yeah, get this done. And then the rears may have to be a different day. Because I don't actually have enough rivet nuts and stuff like that. Or probably time. Because it it does take a while of like, mark it up, take it off, mark this, mark that, pre-drill that, pre-drill that. Like, it's, it's a long process. It looks really good at the end. But it's not like, yeah, stick them on and we'll just drill holes in and rivet it. Like, rivet nutting is a longer process, but it's cooler and just looks 10 times better than shitty rivets hanging out the car. Look, I'm not going to lie. Jax has cleaned up my cut a bit, but my cut this side was actually quite good. I was really impressed with it. It's pretty banging. Um, but, yeah, we've just cleaned it up again. I'm 
I'm going to end the clip here because you're not going to want to watch me put rib nuts in this whole way, but you get how it works. You press, it pushes in, you twist out, you then have a thread located in your wing. It's pretty sick. I'm on 10, 10, 10, yeah.